Hi everyone, this is Ty Williams. How everyone's doing today? And this is a psychic reading on Cody Rose, the American Nightmare. And he is a wrestler and an actor. And also he is a producer and a wrestler and all elite wrestling. So I did shuffle some cards to see what's around him and his career in AEW. And interesting enough that Cody have lots of ideas. He is very hardworking. He is his father's son. What I mean like Dustin Rhodes, Dustin Rhodes is a legend, that's his father. And I feel like he's very open-minded to new ideas and new ways, the new way of professional wrestling. And I feel that in real life, he's a total opposite of his character that we see in AEW Dynamite and wrestling. And we see him as this charming, captivating. He's very like, he's a type of guy that he walks in the room and he, he looked like a million bucks. He's handsome. Um, he's smooth. Uh, he's very intelligent and he's very intelligent in real life. Um, but He's a big nerd, a big dork, and he's a bit shy in real life. And I found that amazing because he he's a type of guy that he could be the greatest heel at all time, but could be the greatest baby face at all time. And that's what I see with my reading with Cody Rhodes. The thing with Cody Rose that what I see right now is that he's very patient about everything. He likes to take his time. He likes to analyze what is cool and what is not. And I feel that's the reason why AEW is a hot mess in a certain degree. It's because he is experiment certain things. Once again, like I say in my other videos, AEW is a new company and I feel that he trying to do experiment to see what it works and what he need to do to make AEW better than WWE. Um, but what I'm seeing with him is that there are certain people around him trying to, trying to boost his ego excuse me, trying to boost his ego, like trying to make it seem like his character in TV, but in real life, he's not like that. He's more like, I'm just going to play along with this character, you know, and to see how people react to it and how people feel about this character. And I feel that he is testing people or no matter of fact, he's testing people and people is testing him. I'm talking about the journalists, the hardcore fans, the one, the insiders, one behind the scenes, like Dave Melsa and Jim Cornette and Wrestling Soup and um, Fightful.com um, and they trying to test Cody's knowledge and what his direction and what his plan is going to be in AEW and I feel like all of them want the heel Cody to return not the fans I think the fans like certain fans don't mind Cody turn heel, but it doesn't make no sense of him 
turning heel yet. You get what I'm saying? I feel like Cody is showing a fighter spirit. I feel like Cody is showing strong style in AEW. That's what it is. And I think that fan take it as him being a heel. And that's why he's like, oh, these people want me to be a heel. Okay. And he's trying to figure things out. Like, okay, these fans want me to be a heel, but I'm trying to show strong style. And I see what he's doing. And if you don't know what strong style is, it's Japanese wrestling, where in Japan, they do lots of amazing matches. If you watch New Japan Pro Wrestling, please watch it. Please watch um, the network and the show because they do a lot of strong style wrestling and they match and competitive and they match. And I feel like Cody is bringing that in AEW and to see um, other wrestlers could handle his strong style and his wrestling ability. And also I feel like he's watching all the wrestlers, like who are the wrestlers, you know? And he's scavenging, he's like, he's researching on wrestlers, but also in wrestling. Like he seemed like, he seemed like what is hip? What is what the fans want? And I feel like, he always get what the fans want, and that's make him a top baby face. And I, I, I say this, Cody Rose gonna be one of those top baby face that is strong and that you need. He's that type of baby, baby face that sympathizes who he is as a person. Same thing when he's a heel, you know. But I, but I do see him as a top face, you know, like a, like a over face, like a different face. Like he going to be like the first anti baby face. Like he do hillish moves, but there is this strong honor, the strong royalty and being who he is make people to watch him. And I do see that he's in that area that he's going to make wrestling interesting again. And I do feel like he's very more connected with his father when he thinks about him or when he like by himself is thinking about what he needs to do in professional wrestling or in AEW. Um, I do see that um, he is a leader of AEW. I don't see him being very into, very an egomaniac, a master manipulator. Like I said in my videos, uh, I say certain things that um, there is some, a bit of intensity of of his situation with Brandy Rose with Kenny Omega. And I feel like Cody trying to make Brandy um, equal to him, you know? And he loves Brandy. He ride or die for Brandy. He makes sure Brandy it's okay. And that's a good husband. So whoever wrote bogus articles about Brandy and Cody having issues with each other over AEW, that's bullshit. That's like fans want to create a storyline between a husband and a wife over control with AEW. That's the reason why AEW wrestling fans is a hot mess. Um, 
but I do see that he is working on an angle with Kenny Omega, which is very interesting. And I feel like this angle may work if he play his card right. If both of them on the same path of what to do, what they angle to together. And I feel like everybody want Cody and Kenny Omega to be a tag team as heels. But the way I see it, it doesn't make no sense. I feel like um, there is a bit of confusion of who is going to be a face and who's going to be a heel. And I feel like Cody is in that position as the TNA champion because he wants to bring new talent in. It's not an ego thing. It's just that he trying to figure out how to book talent in their own way since um, the company is organized about what is what. Like, who is who? And I do see that they're going to be a huge changes in AEW, especially a TV deal that's coming up. So you will see lots of wrestlers are pressured to be stars. Yet they do have a family dynamic, but I feel like right now this is like game time. This is more like the play time is over. So I feel like he gonna be the one gonna set AW or AW on fire. If not, it's Kenny Omega or both of them to have a huge feud. And I feel like Cody is very hard working. I do see that, but Cody need to find a strong ally, a strong stable that make it more entertaining. But however, there are lots of, there are lots of people going up to him trying to bring WCW, trying to be in the WWE era, WWF era, but this is AEW. AEW is something to do something new, something different, something you don't see. And I feel like Cody is opening his eyes saying like, I'm not going to bring back nostalgia. I'm going to bring back people who are legends, people who've been in the game, people who got a story to tell. And yes, Cody, do that route. It's not about bring back the past but bring something new to the future. Be more understanding of other wrestlers and why they in AEW. What's the point of them going to AEW? And I do believe that he's around good people. Cody Rhodes around good people, but his fan is so entitled and so like demanding him be a heel or do this, do that. And I feel like Cody need to just like lay back, just chill. Don't let those entitled people get to you. Those demanding people get to you. Don't let these marks get to you. Just listen to them and try to understand what they're coming from. And always look at both sides 
to each wrestling fan. Because some wrestling fans are not always right when it comes to booking and storytelling. And there are other wrestling fans who knows about how to book a storyline and an angle. And I know that you got lots of stars up in there, but it's about time for you to step up and show the world about talent, bringing other wrestlers into a conclusion of you could be the best in AEW if you work hard, if you make something out of nothing. Just be the best you. Let other wrestlers shine. And that's what Cody Rhodes is doing. And I feel like Cody Rhodes is doing re like revamp titles. Like I see him revamping the TNA title, revamping um, other titles that um, come up in AEW, especially the women's title. I see that there are lots of complaints about the women's title and he gonna design it. He gonna make it interesting, like putting like diamonds and rhinestones. That would be awesome that make the woman tag woman tag titles more interesting also the woman championship make it very important i think that's what he is doing too and i feel like he gonna do a lot of amazing thing in AEW. but i hope that he's not gonna overwork himself i hope that he is letting people to shine out in him wrestling them. Like he did lots of good things towards wrestlers. Like he bring out Eddie Kingston to wrestle him to wrestle him and make Eddie Kingston like trend. And people talk about Eddie Kingston. Oh yeah, Cody is on that money. And trust me, whatever Cody touch, it turned to go. And I feel like people are not ready for the Kenny Omega and Cody Rose feud. But this time is different because I do see that Cody will be the top baby face and Kenny Omega gonna be the hill. So you're gonna see something spark, something big between us two. If not, that means that the entitled fans win. That is what I see, like, into his mindset. Cody said, like, I'm gonna get what the fans want. And I'm going to allow them to pick what they want and what they see. Um, I will say my two cents in it, but however, he's not going to upset them. That's what I see with Cody Rose. And I feel like he is doing a lot of good things with AEW and, and professional wrestling too. I do see that lots of wrestlers is reaching out to him former wrestlers um, talking to him like, hey, do you have any storylines? Do you want me to do something? So I do see that with Cody. And I feel like Cody was very like headstrong and focused on to approve AEW. And I do see that he got lots of ideas. Uh, I do see that um, he's working on something with Kenny Omega to make fans get into it. He got to do something different, like something not silly, something like what Jim Cornette love, like um, Jim Cornette 
like Cody booking than Kenny Omega's booking. So for Kenny Omega and Cody is having a huge feud with each other, it makes sense. Like Cody, he's the golden boy. Cody is a wrestling um, phenomenal. He he is the boss, the final boss in AEW. He is like the ringleader in AEW, especially when he had a feud with Chris Jericho that I like and MJF that I like. And if him and Kenny Omega feud, I like him to feud with Kenny Omega like in a long-term booking or a short-term booking. Either way, I feel like Cody gonna be um, the one to make AEW interesting. So, this is Ty Williams. Good day and goodbye.